day everyone. How are you? I hope that you are all fine. I am Teacher Ferdi and I will be your guide on this lesson in Mathematics 6. After going through this video, you are expected to be able to multiply different types of fractions such as proper, improper, and mixed fractions. Listen carefully as we go along with our lesson. Be ready with your learning activity sheets and ball pen so we can now start. You are cooking pancakes with your mother. She asks you to add twice the measurement of the one and one half tablespoon of baking powder. Can you tell how much baking powder you're going to use? Let's learn how as we go on. But before that, let's have a review first about fractions. Are you ready? Fractions are composed of two parts, the numerator and the denominator. The numerator is the upper number and the denominator is the lower number. An example of fraction is two-third, wherein two is the numerator and three is the denominator. Second, improper fraction. We call it improper fraction when the numerator is greater than the denominator. The examples are 8 over 4 and 5 over 3. And the third, mixed numbers, wherein it is composed of a whole number and a fraction. Here are the examples, 5 and 3 4, where 5 is the whole number and 3 4 is the fraction, and 1 and 1 4 where 1 is the whole number and 1 fourth is the fraction. Were you able to recall the kinds of fractions? If yes, very good! Moreover, let us also review how to reduce fractions to its lowest term as it is needed in our lesson for today. For example, if you are going to reduce 9 over 15, First, find the least common multiple of 9 and 15. The common multiple of 9 are 3 and 9. And the common multiple of 15 are 3, 5, and 15. So the least common multiple of 9 and 15 is 3. So you are going to use 3 to divide the numerator and the denominator of the fraction. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So the lowest term of 9 over 15 is 3 over 5. How about if you are going to rename improper fractions to mixed numbers? Example, 27 over 5. This is an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. So to change this into mixed number, you are going to divide 27 divided by 5. 27 divided by 5 is equal to 5. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. 27 minus 25 is equal to 2. So 27 over 5 is equal to 5 and 2 fifths. Now that you are refreshed about fraction, you are now ready to multiply fractions in different forms. Let us take this example. We are going to multiply proper fraction. Example, 5 over 8 times 3 over 4. 5 over 8 and 3 over 4 are all proper fraction because the numerator is less than the denominator. So to multiply proper fraction, just multiply the numerator and the denominator. So 5 times 3 is equal to 15. 8 times 4 
is equal to 32. So 5 over 8 times 3 over 4 is equal to 15 over 32. Here is another example of multiplying proper fraction. Example, 5 over 7 times 3 over 5. To multiply proper fraction, multiply the numerator and the denominator. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. 7 times 5 is equal to 35. Or 3 over 7. Our answers can be reduced to 3 over 7 since 15 and 35 are both divisible by 5. So 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. 35 divided by 5 is equal to 7. So 5 over 7 times 3 over 5 is equal to 3 over 7. How about multiplying whole number by a fraction? Example, 4 times 7 over 12. 4 is a whole number and 7 over 12 is a fraction. So to multiply whole number by a fraction, all whole numbers shall have 1 as their denominator. So 4 will be 4 over 1. So 4 times 7 is equal to 28. 1 times 12 is equal to 12. If your answer is an improper fraction, rename it to mixed number by dividing 28 divided by 12. So the answer will be 2 and 1 third. So 4 times 7 over 12 is equal to 2 and 1 third. Let us now have an example on multiplying mixed numbers. The rule says in multiplying fractions, we have to multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator. What shall we do then with the whole number if it is a mixed fraction? Now, we are going to multiply mixed numbers. Example, 2 and 4 over 5 times 1 and 2 over 3 is equal to n. First step is to rename all mixed numbers to improper fractions. So, to rename 2 and 4 over 5 into improper fraction, just simply do this process. 5 times 2 plus 4 over 5. 5 times 2 is equal to 10 plus 4 over 5. 10 plus 4 is equal to 14 over 5. Rename also 1 and 2 thirds into improper fraction by just doing the same process. 3 times 1 plus 2 over 3. 3 times 1 is equal to 3 plus 2 over 3. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 over 3. When the mixed number is renamed into improper fraction, you are now ready to multiply following the rule. Numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So 14 over 5 times 5 over 3. 14 times 5 is equal to 70. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. So the product is 70 over 15 which is an improper fraction. So change the improper fraction into mixed number by dividing 70 divided by 15 is equal to 4 and 2 thirds. Here is another example. 6 and 3 over 7 times 4 over 8. 
First, you are going to rename all mixed numbers to improper fraction. So change 6 and 3 over 7 into improper fraction by doing this process. 7 times 6 plus 3 over 7. 7 times 6 is equal to 42 plus 3 over 7. 42 plus 3 is equal to 45 over 7. When the mixed number is renamed into improper fraction, you are now ready to multiply following again the rule. Numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So 45 over 7 times 4 over 8. 45 times 4 is equal to 180. 7 times 8 is equal to 56. The product is 180 over 56, which is an improper fraction. So change the improper fraction and mixed number by dividing 180 divided by 56. 180 divided by 56 is equal to 3. 3 times 56 is equal to 168. 180 minus 168 is equal to 12. So 180 over 56 is equal to 3 and 12 over 56. To reduce the fraction part, we divided 12 and 56 with their GCF which is 4. So 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. 56 divided by 4 is equal to 14. So the product of 45 over 7 times 4 over 8 is equal to 180 over 56 or 3 and 3 over 14. So, how much baking powder will you use if you add twice the measurement of the 1 and 1 half tablespoons of baking powder? Let's see! Remember, to multiply fractions, we help to multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator. To multiply mixed numbers, we help to rename the mixed numbers as improper fraction. Then proceed to multiplying the numerators and denominators of the multipliers. How did you find our lesson? I know that you have enjoyed it. Now, it's your turn to practice multiplying fractions and mixed numbers. You can post this video to answer the activity. You can ask help from your parents or from your teacher. Listen to the direction. Now, let's have practice exercises. Here is the instruction. Multiply the following fractions and mix numbers. It is best if you complete your solution and not just the answers. Let me first give you an example. 2 over 3 times 2 and 5 over 7 is equal to 2 over 3 times change the mixed number into improper fraction by doing this process 7 times 2 plus 5 over 7 so 2 over 3 times 7 times 2 is equal to 14 plus 5 is equal to 19 over 7 multiply now the numerator 2 times 19 is equal to 38. 3 times 7 is equal to 21. So the product is an improper fraction. So change the improper fraction into mixed number. By dividing 38 divided by 21 is equal to 1 and 17 over 21. Here are practice exercises for you to do. Number 1. 1 over 2 times 5 over 7. Number 2. 5 over 8 times 6 over 9. Number 3. 7 times 9 over 15. 4. 
3 and 3 8 times 4 over 7. Do we have the same answers? Wow, very good! If not, you can replay this video to refresh you in multiplying fractions. For you to master multiplying fractions, answer the remaining activity on your own in your activity sheet. I know you can do this. This ends our lesson for today. I hope you have learned a lot. Goodbye and stay safe.